guys welcome back to my channel and it's your girl Lizzie Licious here and welcome back so I'm really happy because I just recently recovered from not uh, I don't know if it's flu or what but it's not COVID so thank goodness so yeah I'm just happy to film be filming again and I haven't done this for a while my monthly haul uh, I've been buying bits and bobs but not a crazy amount of haul so I didn't film for a while regarding that um, that what do you call this topic yeah so yeah so I think I should do this now since I think it's starting to accumulate and the box that I put where I buy things, I put it aside to remind myself that I have to film it and share it with you. It's getting full. It's I don't think it's still much though, but um, because I just I was just checking my um, videos and the last time I filmed was um, October, I believe October or November. Either are but um, I do know that I didn't film on December and on January so yeah so this is a month's um, worth months and months of worth of um, art supply and yeah let's just get into it I think I did well I think I did well for four months of buying things usually uh, i'd buy crazy things but i'm trying to cut down on my spending habits regarding uh, my art materials because uh yeah it's it's starting to accumulate and i i just want to enjoy the things i have for now and then when i get you know i feel like trying a new product then I'll go by again but anyway let's go into it uh, I'll start with the books so first thing is the midnight masquerade by Hannah Carlson and um, a lot of you guys as well uh, loves Hannah and until now she's still my favorite of all time illustration illustrator <laughs> oh my gosh I can talk um, but yeah uh, I love a lot of uh, artists but I'm just starting to know some of them slowly like Karolina Kabikoska well Kirby I know I, I know him because we're both um, Filipinos so but so far i'm just loving her artwork so i'm trying to collect all of her books and i'm just really sad and a lot of you guys as well in the color community is sad with the news that hannah carlson has a brain tumor and hopefully prayers for her that she recovers and if she will be having any treatments or surgery everything goes well because we need a lot of Hannah in the world to inspire us more and there's a lot of um, tags going for Hannah uh, support Hannah I think I can't remember the tag but I, I do want to join that and so yeah so this is the midnight midnight masquerade i haven't colored in it yet and next one is this one daydreams by her so so far i've been um reading reviews and uh from what i've read and from according to my research that this is one of her books that doesn't have too many faces 
which is a plus for me uh, because um, I'm still starting to learn and practice on skins I haven't really actually um, tried learning it from tutorials I'm just doing my own thing for now but someday one day I'll start honing more of my skills on that um, era or topic so yes that's her next is hold on let me fix my microphone next one is my next favorite artist is Johanna Bass Ford Worlds of Flower um I don't know if I'm a flower girl but when I was looking at this book in one of our local stores here in Australia which is Dig W I like it and I do love Hannah uh, Hannah sorry Johanna see <laughs> Johanna Hannah um, Johanna Bass Ford's paper I really enjoy working on the paper uh, and her illustrations as well um, even though you do mixed media with her the paper is just really amazing so excited to work on that next one is oopsie this one Johanna uh, Johanna Bass Ford's Christmas a festive coloring book I bought this it's already post Christmas but it's never too late to celebrate Christmas anyway and you know what if I want to color this any time of the year so be it but this is also a good way for me on prepping for next Christmas because I feel like you know I started buying Christmas uh, coloring book well I only have one Christmas coloring book with it really didn't entice me much so maybe this will ma get me in the mood on um, doing Christmas or festive or holiday pictures by this year so we'll see we'll see and next one is this one the wondrous workings of science and nature coloring book i saw this with coloring k she was showing her finished uh, pages i think from one of her older uh, videos i forgot one what month but when i saw how she colored it and i was really amazed so I said, oh, I want to try that coloring book. But then when I saw the coloring book, I'm not too sure about it. But, you know, you'll never know once you start coloring in it. So I'll still give it a go. Uh, what did she do? What picture did she do? I'm not sure. I don't know if this one. Or, I'm not sure. But, you know, she really you know how no matter how simple um, coloring K do or how complicated she colors a picture it's, it's just amazing so she really inspires me she's one of the she's one of the youtubers that inspires me a lot but there's still a lot more out there new ones as well uh, okay, this one, the coloring kawaii, this one, I saw it from coloring down under and I just couldn't get over it. It is just super cute. I thought, I'm, I don't know if it's the same um, coloring book, but I, I do know it's the same coloring book. 
but this is one of the coloring books that you just go in town with it you don't you just color you know and i i find it more relaxing when you just color don't plan just put um just grab a few colors and voila and i like it's a bit doodly and you'll see it's a bit busy but it's okay because the spaces it's big so i don't think i'd mind that because until now i'm still overwhelmed with pictures that are too busy i don't i just sometimes i just overthink the picture so i said ah oh, okay so until now i haven't done any kirby rosales coloring book i have a few of his coloring books now but i haven't overcome my fear of starting a picture so i'm getting there i'm getting there i'm exploring and speaking of kirby yes so i've been buying his books but i don't color in it which is a shame but his artwork is just amazing it's it's me the problem is me i just don't have the courage to do his beautiful pictures but I just don't think it will give justice if I color it just you know just uh, not incorrectly because there's no incorrect or correct way of coloring things but that's my opinion but with this kind of pictures I just feel like you just have to do it really well and I guess the thing I have to overcome is my patience on one picture because when I how do you do it guys when you do like this complicated pictures because I know myself I will get bored when I work on something for a long period of time I'll be filming my finished pages and I'll show you one of the examples where I just got over the picture because I've been working on it for months and I'm just not enjoying it anymore because maybe I didn't do it so well and I was just coloring it but anyway that's that's Kirby next is, oh, that's it that's it for the coloring books and now let's proceed with the art supplies so see, I told you, I did really well for this couple of months. So next is, of course, uh, a Crayola product, of course. Um, you'll see that not all of the crayons is here because um, I was mixing it with my regular twistables and I was removing the things or the colors that has a repeat. So basically these are, are the repeats. So I put it in one one big um, pencil case that I bought. So that's the Silky Scent Sweet Crayons. The reason why I was doing that is I wanted to see if the Silky Scents and the regular Twistables that I see here, um, how many colors will it produce to make a bigger set you know what I mean because I was trying to buy the silly scents uh, 72 pack the one with the twistable crayons and the twistable pencils but it was uh, sold out so unfortunately I couldn't get my hands on that so anyway that's one of my Crayola products next is of course another super tips washable markers i do have the 120 set which is the one with the silly sense marker the 20 20 colors of silly sense but i don't i don't feel like using that because i feel like it's uh, it's one of those crayola products that you have to save i know it's a marker and it will be drying out if I don't use it I'll get there but for now I just want to buy something that I can just you know use and if it runs out and dries out so be it 
I still have a backup. So that's my mindset. So anyway, I've been enjoying lately using markers. So yeah. And I've been using the um, washable or the water-based markers with my Hatchet Heroes um, color by numbers. So yeah, that's that. And Tara. A Stedler 72 uh, pencil. You can never get enough of pencil, isn't it? So, um, I've been eyeing on this in BW for quite some time now. And I'm just so curious about it. So this is the pencils. Actually, I dropped them already. So far, I have no breakage. Well, some of them I start using. I So I haven't um, sharpened everything, but I was just testing out something. So I really like the colors of this one. But I haven't really played with them yet, so I can't really give any opinions at the moment. And next is a Faber Castell. I have been, I've just noted with my shopping pattern that I have been buying a lot of Faber Castell products lately. I don't know why. Uh, maybe I'm just loving them or I'm secretly, you know, not secretly, but. Um, Maybe I'm just loving their products. And to be fair, yes. I know Faber Castell is a really, really good product. But I just wanted to try more of their school grade products. Because I have been hearing that even though the school grade products, they're still, they still perform well. Well, yes, they do. But um, that will be on another video. Video. So this one is the Faber Castell 48 Gold Faber Aqua. I got it with a good deal in Amazon. Uh, I wanted to buy the other one, not, not the Aqua one, but um, I didn't like the price point of that. So I just figured to buy this and try it out. Compare it with my Albert Tour. Why not, isn't it? So I believe this is the biggest set. It's beautiful. I love the tin. And yeah. Is it close? Yeah, okay. Next one is Okay. Charan my black widows pencil my first black widow pencils so this is one of the pencils i also got with a good deal unfortunately one of them broke just the tip so i sharpened it already but the rest i really haven't sharpened i haven't tried them as well but i've been hearing a lot of good things about them oh my gosh oh my gosh oh yeah that's it I thought yeah so of course I had to buy the other one I didn't buy the scorpion one because it wasn't on sale and I could I couldn't justify buying another one yet so this one, oh, I love it. I was watching Pamela's um, YouTube videos the other day, and she has a swatch chart for this one, and I think I wanna buy it, anyway. But I do intend to collect the whole Black Widow line sooner or later, but 
I'll take my time. And of course, since I love crayons, I bought a Karen Dash Neo Color One. Okay, this is not the uh, water soluble one, but it's okay because the water soluble. I was thinking if I'm gonna buy something, I'd just rather save for it and buy the whole, the biggest set because I prefer to have the biggest set. And this is the non-soluble one. And for the non-soluble, I believe this is the biggest set. If not, let me know. And I also got this, uh, I think I got this for an, uh, Amazon sale during Christmas time but uh, what do you call that Black Friday yeah Black Friday sale so yeah this is also my first Karen Dash product to have and I'm I'm super excited I was really worried because I wasn't I wasn't at home for a few days and the Amazon delivery guy of course he'll leave it in I was just outside the house and I was afraid it's gonna melt and it was summer that time well, it was still summer now but it was extremely hot at that time that's what I meant Ooh, so pretty this deserves a spot on my display so let's be careful let's be careful and since I'm also enjoying uh, water oh water coloring this past few days or using um, water based products I bought myself a Gansai Tambi watercolor um, this is not the biggest set I get I think this is the next to the biggest but the biggest set was like oh, oh my gosh it's super expensive Expensive. So this is the 36 color. I also got a good deal from Amazon Black Friday. So I just bought it. Why not? And I was thinking, well, I'm not expert with watercolors yet. I basically use them for backgrounds for now. So maybe when I I feel like buying the whole thing, I will, but I think I'm happy with this. Because I know, I know myself, I'll still buy a different brand despite me having this, especially, especially, you know, sparkly color, uh, sparkly paints. How do you do this? Yeah, okay. And this is also a beautiful packaging. Beautiful. So, I th think that's that's all what i bought for the last three months and i'm proud of myself because i didn't buy much to think that i can i know i can uh, when i go it, when work drives me crazy i just buy things which is really bad isn't it but i did really well and thank you for watching watch out for my finish pages and yeah have a good day guys thank you for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe see ya bye